federal government runs out of money in a week. And Republican leadership tonight in the House is still struggling to find a plan to stop that shutdown. While the House remains on break, the most conservative House GOP members have gathered at the annual CPAC meeting just outside of Washington, D.C. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Anna Wernicke joins us live now for the latest. Anna. Good evening. Well, House lawmakers aren't scheduled to return back here to Washington uh, until next week, just 48 hours before that first funding deadline. Time is running out for lawmakers. The clock is ticking. And so what do we do next? Congress has until midnight on March 1st to pass at least four of the 12 appropriation bills to avoid a partial government shutdown. But so far, House Speaker Mike Johnson has been silent on how he plans to keep the government running. And Johnson is already facing pushback from members of his own party who can't agree on where the money goes and what programs get funded. The conference is wide. It's broad. And folks don't want to be pinned down to something. Hardline conservatives, including Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, are demanding spending cuts. We're over $34 trillion in debt. It is a disaster. It is a joke. It is pathetic. And Florida Congressman Byron Donald says he won't vote for any spending bill until Congress first addresses the southern border. Do you want to close Mount Rushmore? So the southern border can be open. You either secure the border or you get no money for the government. But those demands won't pass the Democrat controlled Senate and Democrats say the Republicans bickering must stop. This is the state of today's Republican Party. It's why it is so challenging to get anything done in Congress. The House is scheduled to return back to D.C. next Wednesday. For now, live in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Back to you.